Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. On this week, a lot of release model was came out, like the Sam3 segmentation, the Sam3 D body, the Flux2 dev that allows you to do image editing and image generation at the same time. And among all those models, a new model came out by the Alibaba group known by Z Image Turbo Generator. It is a text to image model that allows you to do image generation. According to their creator, it can surpass all previous models that we saw, like the Flux1, the Flux2, the Quen image, and many other models. So today I will show you how we can use that model on Comfy UI. We will test out the GGUF and the Diffusion BF16 version. And we will test out its prompt adherence uh, according to many different prompt styles. So without further ado, let's dive into the tutorial. Z Image Turbo model is a powerful and highly efficient image generation model trained only with 6 billion parameters. It is claimed by the Alibaba group that uh, it can surpass all previous models for image generation. So we have the Turbo version, the base and the edit version. But actually now are we only having uh, this uh, Z Image Turbo version dedicated for image generation. As you can see here, the Turbo is the tested version of that match uh, or exceed the, the competitors with only 8 number of functional evaluation. It can offer a second uh, interference latency and uh, it works well with consumer GPU. According to this website, it excels in photorealistic image generation and bilingual text rendering with English and Chinese at the same time. It also has a robust instruction uh, for the prompt adherence. So right now, we only have this turbo version, but I am pretty sure that the base and the edit version will be released very soon. Here we have some showcase of the quality of this. Uh, we can clearly see the quality and of the results. It is very realistic and uh, the style is very close to the real world. It also has bilingual text rendering. As you can see here, we have some uh, examples. It can handle both uh, languages. As for the prompt adherence, it has a good prompt uh, adherence for, for, with reasoning capabilities and it can uh, transcend the level description uh, that you include on uh, every uh, prompt. It can also handle the JSON prompting, which is a new type of prompting using uh, image generation that allows you to take the control over every details of your image like the lighting, the colors, uh, and etc. And we also here we also have here some example of uh, the image editing and you can see uh, some uh, results uh, about the consistency, the, the style changing, the object uh, removal, the object uh, rotation, and we also have some virtual try on. We will see that once the, this image will uh, came out. As for model architecture, they adopted a scalable single stream DIT. It is a new type of architecture that allows you to concentrate the text, the visual semantic, the token, and the image VAE in order to create uh, good results. According to this uh, link, the Gmini Flash has the best ELO score for all previous models compared to Flux1 Context, the GPT-1, the Quen Image, the Gmini Pro, the C Dream, and on the fourth position here, we have the Z image, it has an ELO score of 1024. And uh, we can uh, see that it is a very impressive result since this model came out recently. So I'm pretty sure that it will uh, rise uh, again on this uh, ranking uh, list. And what I like the most, it is already surpassing the Quen image and the Flux1 context. Since this week we have in the Flux2 dev model that allows you to do image generation. And since we have the release of the Flux2 dev model that can do image generation, many editors compare it with the Z image turbo and they claim that the results are a bit so we will try to see that together. And the best way to do that is going to the comfy UI hugging face. Here you can follow the Z image turbo. On the file and version, you can clearly see we have different uh, file. Here we have the VAE, the text encoder, and the diffusion model. For the VAE, it is the Flux1 VAE, so if you have it, don't bother yourself uh, by downloading again. As for the text encoder, it is using the Quen3 4 billion parameters, and it has a weight of 8 gigabytes. You can download it here. Next, let's jump to the diffusion models. And we have here the ZMS Turbo BF16 version. I know that the FP8 version was also released. However, the, uh, when I first tested, uh, we, I only uh, have access to the BF16 version. And it works pretty well with my RTX 3060 6 gigabytes. So you can now loading uh, if you wish. Once it is done, go to your Comfy Wire root folder under model. First, start with the text encoder. Make sure to go to clip folder and put your model here. As you can see, we have the Quen3 4 billion parameters. Then go to the Fusion models and paste your model here, the Z Image Turbo BF16 version. And if you insist of uh, testing the GGWeb version, 
there is also a GGW version of this uh, Z image turbo and you can also download it if you want it is not weighted too much and uh, for my test I use the Q8 version in order to compare it with the BF16 version it is only weighted 7 uh, gigabytes and uh, it is very good once you, you download this version go again to copy y root folder under model search for the unit folder and paste this version here okay since we have everything let's go to Cafe UI here on the manager make sure to go to custom node first search for the ggwf i am using this uh, ct9 atx uh, version so if you are using the same version yeah, all you have to do is try to update it uh, in order uh, to enable the nodes to use this ggwf version of the model once it is done also update your Cafe UI and restart it okay once we have everything updated make sure to go to the hugging face Cafe UI uh, repo and here you can see the workflow just click here you can find the file to download and here the basic workflow for this z image turbo make sure to download this image then just drag and drop this image here as you can see it is very simple workflow we have here the load diffusion model make sure to select uh, our model as for the, the way to d-type i am using the fpa e5 in order to get more uh, speed you can enable this model sampling aura it will give you more impressive results for the image generation here we have our load clip make sure to select the quen 3 the type is must be set to lumina 2 and the device must uh, you can leave it as default as for the vae we have the flux 1 vae and it works pretty well we also have this uh, sd3 latent image you can try to play with your resolution i did not uh, change this uh, during my test but uh, the results was also pretty good at this resolution as for the key sampler we have here the seat uh, steps it is set to 9 and the cfg is set to 1 since it is a turbo version it explains uh, why we have a low cfg value and low steps this way you can handle uh, the image generation uh, like the base model uh, with only a few steps and the generation time is reduced uh, with this configuration so that is the main difference between the turbo and the base model as we used to saw that on SDXL models and the SDXL turbo and lightning version of uh, those models for the sampler we are using the Euler and the simple scheduler and here we have the results uh, that is decoded with this VAE decode now okay it is a very pretty simple workflow and based on that I try to build my own workflow as always it is practically the same at the exception of some additional nodes like the upscaling node the flash vsr and the auto prompt generation using the quen vl as you can see here i used uh, the image in order to transform it into a prompt using the quen vl one of the best prompt generator uh, right now and based on this uh, quen vl i did a series of prompts uh, using this cr prompt list which allows me to generate for example here five image at the same time with the only one click if for example i click run here it will generate uh, all five images with the one simple click it is very uh, useful uh, when you try to test out uh, some new models uh, while gaining some time and uh, here let's talk about the prompt uh, style to test out this model i uh, did uh, different uh, prompt uh, list here we have the portrait, the finger and poses, and uh, the words. We have the text rendering and the animals. I did, I add that in order to test out the quality of the photorealistic uh, style of this uh, model. And why I chose those prompts, uh, since all the models here can't handle those uh, type of prompt like the finger, the poses, the word, the text rendering too. So in order to see if this model really outperformed the others, I was forced to do that prompt uh, list. And as you can see here, we have for the model, the GGUF loader. It is set to uh, bypass since I am using uh, the diffusion model, the clip loader, the VAE, the MT. And here we have for the text encode, all you have to do is connecting the prompt to this uh, dot here. And this way it will handle all the, your prompt list with ease. But don't forget to disable this auto prompt generation since you don't uh, use it anymore for the upscaling you can leave it as it is however i disable this in order to see uh, the model more quickly and if you don't know how to install these notes you, you can find the necessary link for those notes here so it will be easy for you okay once you set up everything all you have to do is clicking run and uh, let's see the results uh, together
we will first start out with uh, the poses and the fingers and as you can see all the pre-generated image looks very good the pose and the fingers are very uh, consistent and we don't have the finger crossed or the multiple fingers generation you can also observe the quality of the generated image at this low resolution it is very good the texture are realistic uh, and all other details too starting with the skins the colors and the environment next let's jump up to the animal section oh, we also have a good results for example here you can clearly see the uh, the texture of this animals it is very good the texture of the the ground is also very realistic we have also this image of a dog and uh, all you have to say is it is very good the fur uh, looks very realistic too as for the details of the skins and the fingers are very consistent we can also say the same about all the other animals and i especially love this one of this chameleon the texture and the skin of this animals is very represented uh, with this uh, image here uh, i only generated this image with the resolution of 1024 by 1024 and you can also see the stunning quality of all other images too here we have some word images uh, that looks also very impressive and you can clearly see the details uh, of this uh, model can do compared to all previous uh, model generation it is very good uh, results let's zoom out a little bit here on this uh, image and you can clearly see the light reflection which are very represented and uh, close to the realistic world next let's jump up to the portrait section and here we have the first image which looks very uh, stunning you can see the skin texture is are very good compared to flux and the flux srpo it is far beyond those models here we have this image of this lady and it is also very good so we can say that for the portrait section this model uh, uh, succeeded to create all those images with the very uh, photorealistic style and lastly we have this uh, text uh, rendering uh, I wanted to see if it can handle both Chinese and English and you can see it has uh, very good uh, results and uh, text understanding. Next I use this uh, image of the Flux 2 in order to render this image and it also came out very good. You can clearly see that we have the smiley, the exclamation point and all other uh, text details here. I also use this advertiser image and you can clearly see that is uh, generated very well the same goes for uh, this image too it has uh, many important details and it managed to create it without any other issues i also test out the ggwf version of uh, this model with the portrait style and you can clearly see that we practically have the same quality of images for both uh, results it is very close to the bf16 version okay in conclusion this z image turbo model is a very good model it already surpasses all the previous model like the coin image the flux one the flux two def version that uh, was released recently and if you try to compare it with the flux two we can first say that it, it has not a very high weight compared to the flux two dev which has a very high weight for both text encoders and the model for uh, the z image turbo it, it is not the case as for the speed, the speed generation here is very uh, fast. I managed to generate all those uh, images in a short amount of time compared to the Flux uh, 2 dev that I tested. Uh, and it took me around uh, 14 minutes in order to generate one image. With this amount of time, I was able to generate all those images provided by the, all those prompt lists. So you can clearly see the difference in generation time. Uh, compared to flux 2 dev and the quality for the flux 2 dev was not very good as uh, this uh, z image turbo generator so uh, i tested out the ggwf version and it was not uh, very good as uh, the z image turbo as for the prompt adherence this one is also very good it has a good prompt adherence it can understand every prompt uh, that i tried here and uh, we also see that it can handle the fingers the poses the word details the text rendering and also nature uh, like the animals uh, and the portrait uh, image generation so uh, we can say that it is very good model and the most impressive thing is that uh, they only train that on the six billion parameters compared to flux uh, 2 or flux 1 which has more uh, higher uh, billions parameters so we can say that the alibaba group uh, really uh, came up with a good uh, training model and a good training method too since uh, according to me it uh, killed the flux 2 dev uh, model in every type of way and the main uh, exception here is the flux 2 model can do image editing and i am pretty sure that uh, they will post out their image editing version pretty soon 
which uh, make this uh, Z image uh, model uh, flux killer. Okay, that's it for today's tutorial. Uh, I will release another tutorial about the flux to death in order for you to uh, see the difference. And I will also do another tutorial about the SAM 3D body and the SAM 3 segmentation, which allows you to segment any image and uh, generate the 3D mesh of a human body with uh, any uh, input image that you can uh, find. So that's it for today's tutorial. If you like this video, please push the like button for me, subscribe to my channel, leave me some comments down below, and don't forget to become a Patreon member of my Patreon page where you can get early access to my workflow and ask me for additional help. Thank you.